In today's video, I rolled with a white belt, but he definitely did not feel like your average white belt. His grips were way too strong. His counters were just too countery, and something just did not seem right. That's not all today has to offer though. Before facing Lucas, our first obstacle is his best friend, Adam. Okay guys, so this is my first time at Bull and Bear since I was just a white belt, almost over two years ago. It's time to see how much I've improved. My first role with Adam, while still a white belt, he has been training for the same amount of time that I have, coming in around two years. Adam is going to start off by trying to hit a sweep by throwing me into the air as he pulls guard. I felt this coming and luckily dropped my weight back, making it hard to sweep because my weight is not directly under him. I break grips and step back to analyze the situation for a second and also to unblind myself. To start passing his guard, I'll first throw him onto his back to limit his mobility and begin to cut angles to apply side to side pressure. This will create openings like the one you're about to see. By creating tough angles, I force him to commit to defense, trapping him into a defensive cycle that I can predict. Now we could strategically maneuver through half guard, quarter guard, and pass the methodical way, but instead, I think I'll just press spacebar. I'll establish the pass, but I won't hold it very long. Adam begins to off balance me, allowing him to shrimp out. I'll catch his left leg with my right and dive over my left shoulder to expose his back. I managed to insert both hooks. Adam uses a two on one grip preventing me from gaining substantial control and as I get peeled off his back, an R bar opens up but I'm unable to successfully attack it as he postures to defend. We settle into close guard and I can feel the fire burning in my chest. The opening is there and it's time for my special move. I will be releasing a full tutorial on this move later this month, so make sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to do this. For a quick breakdown though, my opponent needs to be postured up in my guard, and this move works great in the later rounds when your opponent is tired and doesn't press on your hips. Grab the collar tie and force them to post by hipping into their chest. Then throw the outside leg over their shoulders and slap the inside leg across their neck to enter the triangle. As he postures, I transition to the armbar, but with Adam's elbow denying the existence of my future kids, I let go. He'll grab a scoop grip around my legs and use this to keep my hips facing to the right as he easily passes to the left. I manage to work my way back into half guard, but I get smothered and give up another pass. Adam will transition to neon belly, but it created a small amount of space so I try to turn into him and deny him that position. He then dropped all of his weight back on top of me and rolled onto my back. Fortunately, I performed my miracle bell escape and break free of his control. So while I am technically a rank above Adam, we see that even though I outrank him, that doesn't always mean it'll be an easy win. <laughs> now however, we move on to face James. Let's see if that same logic applies from blue to brown. Can I hold my own against a person two ranks above me? The round will start off with James and I holding hands until I eventually lean in for a kiss. That's good. Now that he's distracted though, I shoot in for a sweep single. I use this to take him down and fall into what I thought was butterfly guard. Unknowingly, James had his leg outside of my knees. Oh shit, get the leg out. <laughs> I'll frolicly spaz out to try and escape the triangle, but I'll end up getting the tap. As we engage into hand fighting again, you'll notice this time James has superior head positioning. This allows him to fire off attacks at a much higher success rate, similarly to my single leg at the start of the roll. As he finishes the throw, James presses his hips hard into my legs, preventing me from getting under him and denying me many sweeping options. He'll attack a toe hold, which forces me to disengage and kick away to prevent being submitted. Now in open guard, I start to work shin on shin. This attachment should allow me to elevate him, but James is preventing that by straightening and dropping his weight onto that leg. Now that James knows what I'm going for, the probability of success rapidly decreases. However, he's now distracted at preventing that attack, so I quickly switch off to another one. I extract my left leg and draw his knee forward to create an arch for my De La Hiva hook. I'll use this to lift him and look to take his back. James falls back onto a knee bar, but I made sure to keep my knee outside of his hip line to prevent leg entanglements. James eventually gives up on the knee bar and releases my foot. I immediately walk into headquarters and because my elbow and knee are connected, I control the inside of James's hip space, giving me a clean and easy knee slice. He tries to shrimp and frame away, but I use the collar grip to drag myself into him and prevent the escape. Eventually, he'll manage to create distance between our chest and re-engage his knees to control the inside and take me off of side control. He'll then grab a single leg and work to come up, then the round will end with him passing my guard. I didn't, I thought I had the leg trapped between my legs, like a, with a butterfly hook, and I was like, 
Why is there so much pressure? No, 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 no. After facing both Adam and James, we move on to the final boss here today at Bull and Bear, White Belt Lucas. We lock up and Lucas immediately hits me with a beautiful trip, and that's when I knew this was no ordinary white belt. I'll initiate a dummy sweep and Lucas sits to his knees to counter. I notice he begins to try and get double inside pan grips, so I move my foot to the outside so he can't just throw my legs to the side and pass. By doing that, it gave me just enough time to slow him down and start to suck him into my guard. I throw in a deep daily heva hook and catch his far hip. I then use this to severely off balance him and come on top. Lucas scoops under my leg and drags me into X guard. I work to control the inside leg and make sure that he can't connect it behind my knee, otherwise he would have full control of my balance. However, with the inside leg now restricted, his ability to off balance me is greatly compromised. Lucas tries to transition his right leg to the inside, but I beat him to it and back step out of danger. You gotta be quicker than that. I'd also like it to be known that this knee bar attempt was brought to you by desperation and it only being a three minute round. I stand up in a single X and give a very poor attempt at an inside pummel. Now, if this was no gi, my foot would certainly no longer be there. But thankfully, the gi gods banned heel hooks. Apparently, taunting them is still fine though. Again, in a familiar position, I control the inside leg and back step to escape. I scoop up Lucas's knee and go for a slightly deeper knee bar. He'll prevent it by using his left leg to relieve the pressure and then drag my foot into the depths of hell. Damn. My boot, not my foot. We stand back up and have just under a minute left on the clock. Lucas absolutely tosses me across the mat and puts me on bottom. I try to shoot a triangle immediately knowing I don't have a lot of time left, but he postures and easily defends it. He begins to work an over under pass, but I manage to lodge my foot on his hip and collect a shoulder crunch on his arm. I begin to drag him into the triangle, but unfortunately, just as I lock it up, he uses my famous bell escape and manages to get out of the triangle. After it's all said and done, Lucas turned out to be a brown belt. They had a judo class before we started rolling and he put on a white belt. So no, I was not getting absolutely tanked by a white belt. If you guys wanna go watch the vlog for today, go check out last week's video. Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're gonna to be going through my daily routine as a full-time jujitsu competitor. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of you who stay to the end. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also show some love to the Bull and Bear crew in the comments below. I know they would really appreciate it. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to help me grow my channel and I will see you all in the next video.